airplanes are just like regular airplanes. However, the difference is they don't have engine to fly them. So we need the muscle of the pilot to give the initial force so we can keep going. There's four actually different forces that act on a paper airplane. We have the lift that goes up, we have the weight that goes down, we have the drag in the back and the truss in the front. So we need more lift to keep it going and the lift is creating between the pressure on the top and the pressure on the bottom of the airplane. So the bigger the wings, more lift we have. However, we have to be careful. If we have bigger wings, we're going to have more weight and it's going to keep it going down. So the next two forces we have is the truss and the drag. The drag is actually the force that we get from the resistance of the air. So just like if you move your arm, you're going to feel that there's a little air that stops you. It's the same with the airplane. This air that it goes through, it will keep stopping it. But this is why we have the truss, which is the initial force that we said comes from this muscle right here of the pilot. So the more, the faster we throw it, the more it will keep going up there. And paper airplanes are just like gliders. You need some initial force to throw them in there. Have a safe flight.